this is a really crucial way and a really crucial feeling when you need to cut this uh, this rose bush quite bushy it's March and you need to train it you need to teach actually your rose how to climb how to flower because you want to make it beautiful why I said it's crucial because if you have emotions and feelings as of course everybody has and maybe you haven't done it many many times it's just a so strange feeling to cut off lovely new coming fresh stems and even buds but you have to do it for the best it's good for you good for the rose and it's beautiful so first of all I should find out how the structure should be and I should look at it from a little bit far and see how it's gonna go it's very obvious for first view that there is a main old stem with little stems growing outwards from here at the end I want to keep this because if I will tie it here this will go upwards that way this is gonna go next to it and I should leave one more coming that way this comes up here against this but it might be a good idea to keep at the moment both of them but what I definitely don't want to keep is this because if I it, if it's against it we break anyway so I cut this off and I have got this clear view here I've got two next to each and actually I should cut this off but as I said I'm gonna leave it here let's see the next level I cut this off and I've got a new strong stem here it's it's green it's coming from right from here to the bottom all the way through but I have got one there's another one coming here as well this is one this is big here and this big old stem brings lots of tiny little uh, buds there's a long one here what I'm gonna cut off from the middle I got this bushy part here I'm gonna cut this out as well from the middle so I'm gonna leave one two three and let's see what's gonna happen with these moths later on I'm gonna cut this off as well and and I'm gonna cut this off as well so let's see how it looks like and let's see how it's gonna look like a little bit later when I'm done I'm definitely getting there but I would like to show you one of the most important thing I've got one to very very old stem and a newish couple of years old but here at the bottom right at the bottom it's a brand new stem is growing so I definitely keep it sorry there was a bug on my back I definitely keep it because this will be the brand new beautiful healthy stem what we grow in a couple of years and I might change and swap for this one so this will go off maybe next year or two years later so for sure I, I didn't prune it and I don't want to prune it I make just less stems so I, I just cut them off right at the bottom here so this will come that way that that way and this is the old one that I cut off already the autumn so it has to go it's just so strong so I need a big lopper to remove this so let's just see the structure all the stems coming to the wall left to the right there is a main stem here but we'll have one two three lines coming aside this way and upwards and it will come this way so some of these gonna go up 
this old one I'm gonna keep it just at the moment to let it flower at the first time and once this new growth we run through underneath it I will take this off and keep the new ones what is here plus I have this new one here and also a small chunk of stem is developing up to that way so I will have my main lines on this side coming this way plus I have got one main line covering the left side and coming and make it bushy on this way so hopefully it will be a nice structure and I'm planning to keep this one or maybe this one just come above all around the window up there and this little one down around the window here so it should look nice very soon.